Under the Settings button, user can provide and select the underfloor heating and cooling system preferences. In the Project Info tab, user is required to select Proper Region in order to activate the remaining tabs and project data fields. Selected region determines available upon our products catalog in that country. Be careful! Select the region of your project carefully as you will not be able to change it in the later stage of your design process. After saving your choice, the change of the region is only possible by creating a new Revit file. Insert all necessary information about your project. The provided information in data fields will appear in the results. In the General Data tab, user has to provide all necessary information about the designed underfloor opener system. The first step is to set proper scope of the project. The user can create a heating or cooling project, but also depending on a priority, heating with cooling or cooling with heating. Here, user selects components to configure the underfloor system, manifold and controls system. The components which do not have the NAN value in the drop-down list are obligatory to choose. All the chosen parts will be added to the bill of material printout. On the right side, user checks suitable pipe spacing values that will later be considered during the calculations. It is also obligatory to select pipe spacing in the peripheral zone, even if our project doesn't predict such zones. During calculations, the program will choose the most suitable spacing from selected ones to meet heating and cooling load. Another important information in the UFH project are temperatures. Here is where user provides pressure conditions and temperatures for heating and cooling. If user provided all the needed data, the preview of results is displayed on the right. In the floor structure tab, the user can provide information about space below heated or cooled floor and floor layers, which will be used in calculations. These values will be only used for calculations and plugin does not create a new floor type in the project. At the bottom, there is a show button. Clicking on it shows the constant thermal parameters of typical construction layers. The user has no possibility to edit them and mentioned layers have a very small influence on the total heating output. The Loop Settings tab allows for loop pattern adjustment. In second selection window, user has a possibility to change loop laying direction by switching between vertically and horizontally. Finish the setup by clicking OK button, or if you want to save time with your future designs, you can save general settings as a template. To do that, go to Templates tab, click Save button, and provide a name for your template. Templates can be loaded using the Load button. Remember that the templates are assigned to specific regions. By clicking OK button, the plugin will load appropriate families, view template, and tags for your project. The view template is available to be used for floor plans.